Welcome back to Get Even. Let's continue on into the asylum. Kind of forgot which way I came from. Uh, I think, yeah, I came from that way, so we're going this way. Time to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should he? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. <sighs> Eric, is that you? Fuck, my head is killing me. I was out with Rose. I tell you, that girl is one fucking surprise after another. Who would have thunk a girl like that would know how to party? She's pretty messed up though, man. You know all that stuff we were joking about before? Yeah. Yeah, that. I'm serious. From Needle in the Hay to Eerie Jest, warm up. Tomorrow's the day we're just tying up loose ends now. We spoke about maybe having to cut our colleague out of the picture, if you get my meaning. Hope you're fine with that. We'll get the job done regardless. Jay. Two needle in the hay. Pig's tails? Pig, pig's tails? Pig's tails, it must be. No spaces. Someone's singing, so be extremely cautious. I'm gonna track this guy down, but for now we have to keep our eyes open. We don't need any unnecessary attention. They must be talking about the person who is talking with the police, the informant. <clears throat> From Rose to Needle in the Hay, one more thing. We need a current high-res satellite photo of his house. Take care of it ASAP. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, make yourself at home. Begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Chatty box. Jasper. Okay, we're ready to go. Profundo Russo. <laughs> Try not to fuck this up. What do you take me for? A nihilistic psycho who wants to show off? Are you for real? I'm a pro. Me and my boys have been in a fucking war together. We do this quick and clean. Just tell your boys this time nobody gets killed or even wounded. Yeah, that's what I suspected, but I guess this confirms that Jasper, who was in the military, and we saw that picture of Jasper with, I think, three other people? Um, <clears throat> looks like they were still in contact, and it looks like they perhaps did mercenary contracts as, like, a unit together. From Needle in the Hay to Spy Stuff for All. So you want 300 pounds for exactly the same BFG 6600 wall mic that you had listed at 235 last month? Fuck you, pal. I'll give you 250, including delivery. Deal? Is it like Spy Tool Craigslist? Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender the day before the job, so help me God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, I will chop your balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Call me. Yeah, so obviously Rose has been much more than just an assistant. She had big plans 
for something. What was Jasper Prado doing in that building just a couple of days before Grace's kidnapping? And why did someone report a group of armed mercenaries using a nearby area for target practice? Was it some kind of hideout? It's really cool the way when you just look at the photograph, that sound comes in and then everything else goes silent. Intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means what, exactly? I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the implications will become clear. So, what am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? do we have? Okay, got the corner gun. No automatic attachment, not that it matters in my case. Ooh. Evidence, I saw four bars for just a second. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins and Jasper Prado. I knew they'd be sending their inside man, but I never knew he was Oh, what a gorgeous. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm Jasper, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You can cut the flattery, Mr. Prado. I know who you are. Our employer has filled me in. Filled you in, lucky bastard. I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. I get it. You're a professional type. I, I suppose you want to see the setup. Cross the eyes, dot the T's. All that shit. Yes, Mr. Prado. Please, show me round. Our first meeting. That's a start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. Prado's a real upstanding guy. No sarcasm, by the way. I never know if my sarcasm comes across obvious or not. Anyone else here? Oh, 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 yeah, someone's here. Although they have a tiny little arrow on them pointing up, but I don't think that looks like the normal arrow. That means they're above me. So I don't know what that means. Oh, no, 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 there's someone there. Oh, the little arrow is just the, the north thing. Just overlaid on top of them. Okay. No, no, not light. Dear God. from Robert. Someone tried to access my data again. Are you going to deal with that or not? Answer my calls or there will be consequences. Hello there. I feel like I've been on the... Have I been on the other side of this? I feel like I have. But probably not if I need a Pasco to get back to the other side. There's no smoking right there. You're breaking the rules.
Something over there on the map. Can't reach it just from here. Is that a thing? Nope, just a couple beer cans. Hmm. I think they're mostly looking to the right. So I'm probably have to gonna, gonna have to go this way, I'm thinking. Huh? Hmm. right there. There we go. It's really clever the way they made the music ramp up in intensity, the more precarious your position. So it looks like there's a guard down a hallway that way, but also stairs here. Would there be anything down that hallway? It's totally unsafe to go there though. I don't think I could. I'm pretty sure I'd get spotted. Okay. Shit! Oh, are we okay now? Like, if we go to a different floor, do they just disappear? I'm this close to just pressing send and letting all of the world know about your odd jobs. Enough to put you away for most of your life. Don't push me. Those would be the consequences. Yeah, it seems like they kind of just disappeared now that I made my way up here. Okay, cool. Hmm. Lots of ways to go. Is there anything up here? There's a lot of ways to go. Damn. Three ways. Safe house home plan. Sleeping dining room. Planning room. Our office, in quotes. Um, so this would be this place, right? Uh, which room is which room, though? Did I just come in from the sleeping slash dining room? Or did I just come in from the office? Uh, or maybe neither, actually. I can't make sense of that map. I'm trying to match it to what I've already seen here and it doesn't quite fit in my brain. <clears throat> I'm terrified by this group's by by this group ineptitude. It's time to get this thing done. I'm sick and tired of pretending that Ramsey actually matters to me anymore. Rose. And then it looks like another note. We needed some time to get the whole family under surveillance, but it's done now, so calm the fuck down, Stephen. Pretending that Ramsay actually matters to me anymore. Yeah, so that's the feeling I got. I, I didn't think that she actually loved Ramsay or anything like that. She is in this for herself. Trying to take power, money, something. Let's try this way. Actually, wait, so... I think this does match part of the map, doesn't it? I think I'm going into our office. I think. Just based on comparing the two maps. Yep, this looks like an office. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. There should be an open terminal nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for. Neutralize? Well, the less I know about that, the better, I suppose. As long as it doesn't change anything. I'd better be able to trust you, Atkins. That would seem to be the case, yes. 
keep me updated. And let me know the second she arrives at the safe house. Probably talking about Rose or maybe Grace. Check server service connection done. CCTV access done. Can we turn CCTV off at any given moment? Yep, we can. Kill Jasper for breaking my access card. With pleasure. It's the broken piece of the access card? Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. Okay. So we contact Randall. We say, give us the memory gizmo or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? He won't. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just... He won't. So that's how his daughter, Grace, got mixed up on all this, is... Rose wanted the plans. So I guess what Ramsey and Rose, uh, well, from Ramsey's perspective, I guess he thought he was working with Rose to get the plans back, right? Because I, Cole Black, had stolen them and wiped them from their servers. I was the only one who had them. So Ramsey thought they were working with Rose to try to get them back. But Rose actually wanted them for herself and orchestrated the whole kidnapping of Grace with Jasper and probably used Jasper's influence to, you know, talk his buddies into it. Yeah, because something, something went very, very wrong. I don't think they were trying to actually kill Grace in any way. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's not that they were good people or something. Um, just all the things they did to bring her there and, you know, strap a bomb on her is an incredible amount of traumatizing violence on its own, but I don't think they were actually trying to kill her, because remember, in the hostage situation, at the very beginning, when we first got to Grace, remember the two military guys came in? No, we killed the one that was talking on the phone, and then we walked into the room, and then the two military guys came in, and they're like, why the hell is this thing armed? Like, it wasn't even supposed to be armed. So someone, someone somehow armed it. It's through a, a spanner in the works. Because I guess it wasn't supposed to be armed, it was just supposed to be for show. Shit, I'm still missing some data. Just come back here later, I guess? Okay. Yeah, so if that is the office, then the opposite way is going to lead me to the planning room slash... Oh, just two planning rooms. Planning room one and two. And there's also a storage room. Okay. It looks like a freaking, like, tank tread on the ground. I don't know what that is. Picture here. Is that Rose's? DNA found. Mm -hmm. Rose Atkins. You can down a bit, would you? Christ. What? I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. We're on edge. I can feel it in my bones. I didn't get where I am today without knowing when a fella's on edge. You're so on edge, you're like a fucking razor. That doesn't even make sense. Fuck you. Why is this so important to you, anyway? I'm invested, that's all. Ah, uh, you've been promised something. That's none of your business. First car and second car. Oh, so that's what each... Each letter represents. I'm guessing there's going to be a map of the planet or something like that. First car driver, specialist, the hacking artist. 
M's right hand, the wire artist. Try not to fall asleep this time, you stupid mofo. <laughs> C, her role yet to be determined. Uh, second car, brains of the mission, second car driver, right hand, left hand, okay. And this is the plan. Okay, this is important, so we gotta make sure we look at this, so. Money equals love. <laughs> Step one, inform Ramsey about our demands. Number two, schedule meeting with Ramsey at 8 to 9 a.m. J and E, take the data from him. Then lead Ramsey underground. The data from, so wait, Ramsey has the data? Did Ramsey get it back from us at this point? I, so J and E take it, J and E. J and E are, J is the brains of the mission, the main pick up the package artist. And E is J's left hand, okay. Uh, then, wait with the girl, later watches over the exchange. Number four, after the exchange, J leads Ramsey and the girl back to the car. Number six, E-M-N-T, E-M-T, uh, clean the place up. Hmm. So it's around step four that everything went wrong. Because they never, as far as I know, never got to step five. After the exchange, they lead Ramsey and the girl back to the car. Well, that never happened. I think. I think Grace died. What's this? The other car? Jay brings of the mission the main pick... Oh, it's just like another form of who each person is. Alright. Over there, picks R from his car and leads him to the exchange point. T keeps watch over the girl. M, make sure everything goes smoothly. Hmm. Is that an anti- That's an antivirus warning, isn't it? Oh no, you've committed a fatal error. Wow, that's really aggressive. That's really aggressive. You think of like BSODs on computers and crashes, it usually says something like a fatal error has occurred, but this one specifically accuses it, like accuses you of it, like it's your fault. You have committed a fatal error, like you fucked up your computer. Wow. Okay, well, two cars, seven to eight men, around 40 minutes of work on the spot. So beginning in Birmingham, Car 1 goes off to the left, car 2 goes off to the right. So car 1 on the left, the first car arrives at 9 p.m. sharp and parks in the area 500 to 100 meters from Ramsey's house. Okay. And then I guess these numbers are probably chronological. So number 2, the second car arrives at 9.30 p.m. Okay, so it's p.m. not a.m. So that's at night. Um, driver waits and three armed guys enter the building, pick up the package, and put it on the back seat. Okay. Uh, number three, guy in the second car got approximately six to eight minutes to pick up the package and get the fuck out of there. I'm deadly serious, you need to be fast. Uh, fast, furious, but also quiet as fuck. Number four, the crew in the first car is going to get everything fixed up before the second car arrives. Uh, turning off the CCTV in the whole area, taking care of the security cameras installed on the roof of ours house, taking control over the traffic lights at the nearest junction. Okay, so they want no evidence of them arriving and meeting Ramsey and any of that. Uh, number five, at 9.40 p.m., both cars drive to the pickup point, but take different routes. Number six, 10.15 p.m., meeting at the pickup point. 13 Weather Rock Hill or something, Birmingham. What exactly is this package? Is the package Grace? A little bit unclear on that. Or the data? Also, let me check something. Uh, no, not that one. We have another instance of the plan over here. Am I misreading this? 
No. So this one says number two, schedule a meeting with Ramsey at 8 to 9 a.m. And this... To access the computer, you have to scan both halves of Rose's ID card. Oh, it thinks I'm stuck because I've taken so long. <laughs> now I'm fine, game. Don't worry. Yeah, this one talks about arriving at around 9 p.m. Actually, specifically 9 p.m. sharp. So the other one says like 8, 9 a.m. This one says 9 p.m. Is it just an earlier version of the plan? Or is it another instance of the plan? Is this something completely separate? Because this doesn't actually mention anything about like talking with Ramsey, right? It says they're going to Ramsey's house, picking up a package, leaving, and all that, but it doesn't actually mention talking with Ramsey. Whereas this, I believe, does inform Ramsey about the demand. Schedule a meeting with Ramsey at 8 to 9, yeah. Take the data from him, then lead Ramsey underground. Hmm, not quite sure. Okay, we got three bars here. What uh, what are we looking at? Grace Ramsey, first car driver. Okay, yeah, I think we're just looking at tons of different revisions of the plan. Just scrolled all out over these planning rooms. Oh, shit! How did he not see me? I wasn't even grouched! Damn! Bleh, eh, nah. I don't think the light actually matters. But it still scares me to turn it on. Uh, I need to look at those pictures. Shit. But yeah, is the picture opportunity on the other side? Or is it somewhere here? be I feel like it's on the other side I need this data like a little CB radio kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, there is a note over there. Robert, got a, a lot of work on today. I'll be back at 10, maybe later. Lenore, sure. Do what you want. Lenore, don't be like that. I'm not being like anything, Robert. Do what you want. You know how important this work is, don't you? Dinner's in the fridge. I'll see you later. What the fuck? Her name's Lenore? Fancy old... What does it say? Fancy old tart, ain't she? Who the fuck is called Lenore? <laughs> well, these mercenaries have strong opinions. Hmm. So I guess a phone conversation? Or it could just be... Actually, it could be what the wall mic was for. I'm sure they just bugged the place. So they could have just both been in the house as well. But uh, yeah, I'll be back at 10. And they're supposed to schedule... No, they're supposed to do the thing around 9. Right? Well, me, like, talk to them around 8 or 9 a.m. No, wait. Ah, oh, Christ. Sorry, I'm thinking of the... I think the old plan. I think the one that's like highly detailed on the map is probably the newest revision of the plan, in which case it was going to happen at 9pm sharp, getting the package, which would be before Robert would be back. Maybe Lenore was still there. Incoming transmission. Warning cancelled. Just looks like they blue screened.
Is this seriously as, as zoomed in as I could get? I thought it zoomed in more. Does it zoom in more in this mode? Oh, it does. That's weird. It's Grace. Grace's... something. I want those, and I think that's Lenore. I don't see any way around this. If I want those details, I need to kill him, don't I? Shit. See if I can read this. I guess you don't know how to use it, so I just set it on the third slot for everyone. Try not to change anything. Don't mess with the frequency because if you fuck it up and start transmitting on 406 megahertz, we're all screwed. Who's there? Stop messing about. Return to your post. Un Intruder, engaging. Shit. Yeah, no one else is coming. Hmm. I could be super cheaty and just like read these notes and then reload a save game. Actually, I think when you go to read notes, it actually saves the game. Oh, got the automatic thing. Yeah, just save the game right now. Okay, uh, we'll just live with it. There's Lenore Ramsey. Lenore's typical day. Yep, so they're mapping out where they are. Working at the gallery, Centerfield Art Gallery, 2 to 4 p.m., getting back home. 4 to 11 p.m., slobbing around and or being depressed at home, sometimes painting, reading, etc. Robert's typical day. 8 to 4, working at FDG, but hardly working lately. 4.30 to 11 p.m., back home on his computer, reading, generally obsessing over his work in some way. 11 to 12. Texting slash chatting with Rose, telling his wife it's work. Yep, that's Grace. Grace's typical day. 9 to 4, school. 4 to 6, getting back home. 6 to 11, hanging around not doing much, which means watching telly, talking on the phone, reading, staring at the computer screen, etc. Okay. So they're all pretty much home at 4, right? I think 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m., they're pretty much all home. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. No, no, listen, just hear me out. Our employer has given me very specific orders not to let you near any explosives. For fuck's sake, what, you guys have got to trust me. I know my way around the fucking bomb. Not what I heard, Mr. Brady. <sighs> fuck you, fuck the lot of you. Maybe they didn't know their way around a bomb. Maybe they're the one that triggered the explosion accidentally. Gracie? That's grim. Wasn't there a storage room? Is it here? There's no handle on the door, though. I certainly didn't see one here. Let's go check that map real fast. Behind planning room number two, which is the one closest to the stairs. Right? It's gotta be in here. Which would be. Yeah, it's like behind this wall. That's odd. 
No thermal signature, no anomaly. Doesn't seem to be any way in there. Okay, well it looks like it's time to go up to the next floor. So I think this is a pretty good place to end it. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.